everybody. This video is going to go over how to format your APA references page for your essay. I'm specifically using the desktop app for Word for this particular video. Be sure to like and subscribe below to keep these videos coming. So we're going to start with the template that we set up from a previous video that is in APA format. So starting on the very first page, this is your title page. In the top right hand corner are your page numbers. If you don't have those in there, you go to insert page number. Don't use a header, just insert page number, choose the top right. That's all you need to do. You do not put your last name in there like you would for MLA. Then on the first page, you hit enter four times to move down on the page. You center in bold your title. You hit enter twice. You center your name under that. Centered is your college department, whatever department this essay is for, and your college or university name. Underneath that is your course name, and that would be the course code and your the actual full name of the course pulled like from your syllabus or online learning management system. Underneath that is your instructor's name and underneath that is the due date of the assignment. And of course, this is in uh, double spaced font and it would be one of the approved APA fonts. So if your teacher specifically requests Times New Roman 12, of course, use whatever they request. However, APA does have a handful of other acceptable fonts for their essays, including Calibri 11. So you could use that. Um, so whatever of those fonts that you choose is fine. Once you have the date of the assignment centered, you hit enter and then do an insert page break because you want to jump to the very next page. That's your title page. The next page at the top, of course, in the right hand corner, check to make sure your page numbers are there. Centered in bold on the top line of this page is your essay title. Again, underneath that is your essay. Now, once your essay is complete, you use insert page break to move yourself directly to the next page for your references page. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So on the top line of this page, centered and in bold is the word references. It's a little different from how MLA does work cited. So what I've done basically is I have finished my essay. I have collected all of my resources, my sources, and I've put them in APA format on this page, but now I actually need to format this page itself. So I have all my sources in here. They're all cited correctly. I just have to format them. So the first thing that I did as a student, once I typed them in there, was I skipped lines of space um, in between those. So I have to make sure that I delete those. I need to put all of these entries in alphabetical order. They need to be double spaced and they all need to have hanging indent. So using the desktop version of Word, I'm going to start by putting them in alphabetical order because that's going to be a quick way to get rid of all the spaces between the entries, which is important. So I'm going to highlight all of the entries starting with the first one, not the word references, just the entries themselves. Okay. And then up here on the home tab in the section called paragraph, there's a button that says AZ with an arrow facing downward it means alphabetical order A to Z. So you click on that and it'll default to sort by paragraphs, type is text, and it says ascending. So I just hit OK. And basically what that did is it moved all the empty spaces to the top and then put the rest of mine in alphabetical order. So the easiest thing for me to do now is to just go in here and delete all these extra lines of space and pull my entries up to the beginning. Okay. So now they're all in alphabetical order, but they still need to be double spaced and have hanging indent. So again, I'm going to highlight all of my entries. Much shorter now. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go under paragraph, same where the A to Z is. There's a little button in the bottom that you can hit. It says paragraph settings. You can get to it that way, or you can click the little button that has the lines with the blue arrows up and down. If you click on that, go to line spacing options because you can do everything that you want to do from line spacing options all at one time. So when that opens up, there are a couple of things that I want to check. The general alignment should be fine and the alignment should be left. Under indentation, left and right should say zero, but then over under special, it says none. I want to give it a special indent. I need it to have a hanging indent. So under special, you choose hanging. And then you want to make sure that where it says by how much, you need it to say 0.5 inches, 0.5, so half of an inch. Um, mine defaults to that, so that's fine. Now, under spacing, my before and after both needs to be set to zero point. The default for Word is 
um, eight points of space after every line, and we don't want that. So I'm going to move that down to zero. Then under line spacing, I need it to be double spaced. So from multiple, I'm going to select double, and then I'm going to hit OK. And now all of my entries are double spaced, they have hanging indent, and they are in alphabetical order. So using the desktop app for Word is really easy in terms of formatting your references page, especially since it will do all of the ABC order for you. I hope this helps. Good luck on your project and have a great day.